So welcome back to We're Not Really Here. Slightly unfamiliar territory for us in this show now. I'm Natalie Pike. I'm joined by Kevin Horlock and Michael Brown. And we're going to discuss the fact that City have been beaten today by Leeds United. That was 2-1 the game ended. Statistically, the they don't match with the scoreline, shall we say. We had 71% of the possession in that game. We had a massive 29 shots versus Leeds 2. But of course, they scored from both those shots. So, Michael, what did you make um, of the overall performance? I think the performance was dominating. We expected that. Um, the 10 men, we thought, what type of performance would Leeds United put up? City did everything that, that was asked. They controlled the possession. 29 shots just tells you how much the domination was to two shots and Leeds United scored two. That, can, that just shows you how cruel the game can be. City pushing all of the time, leaving those couple of gaps. And, you know, credit to Leeds, they did keep going and they got that goal. But you've got to say, in the first half, maybe chances weren't great. There was a few efforts, controlling possession. But as we said, clinical shots, testing the goalkeeper out, will be something I felt that they could have improved on. But again, it's just, it's, it's almost a wow, isn't it? How does that happen in football? I mean, Kevin will tell you, you can control games and you've played in many, many games where you think, how have you lost that game? In that dressing room, the feeling, you know, when you sit down and you look around and you say, well, have we done something wrong? What is it? Is it me? Is it you? It'd be, so, you, it'd be so frustrating. It, is, it was frustrating to watch, wasn't it? But to play in as well. And look, we were a little bit wasteful at times. I thought in wide areas we, we tried to sling crosses in when there was probably no need. But you've got to give Leeds credit. They, they've stuck to it. They've defended in numbers. They've had a little bit of a rub of the green and, and Manchester City wasn't as clinical as they have been. And we spoke about half-time. They'd sit in and, and, and pick the moments more when to break forward and they did it to perfection, unfortunately. Yeah, you do have to give them a lot of credit. They were resisting, resisting, resisting in that second half. And then the 75th minute, we popped up with a goal from Ferran Torres. And it was a really great finish from him. It was a good finish. He made some good runs in the second half. We were watching and we, myself and Kevin were saying how he's making runs across. Quick runs, the timing of runs. It was a really well-worked goal. And some of the movement from City, some of the balls, intricate play. And this time, they broke through. As the ball came across, he finished across the goalkeeper really well. I give him some confidence because we haven't seen so much of him lately. But then you felt, well, here we go. There's enough time. We're going to see that domination substitutions, you're looking on the bench, you're thinking, where did they go? Obviously, Phil Ford and come on straight away, there's an impact, and it just wasn't to be. And it's, it, it's football. We all love football for, for certain reasons. Today, as a Man City fan, we're not going to enjoy these results, and that's why it makes you better. You learn from them. Uh, but just looking at the stats, won 18 of the last 19 Premier League games. It's hard to be critical. It's been an unbelievable run. And the amount of games, quick, thick and fast. And ultimately, at times, this is what happens in the Premier League. Yeah, do you think that was a part of it today, Kevin? The fact that, obviously, we, we said seven changes, you know, a lot of rotation, big game midweek, big, ga big game again coming up. Is that played into this? I don't think so. I think there's been that rotation before. Look, let's not kid anybody. Um, Wednesday's game's a lot bigger than, than the one today. But Pep would be annoyed, I think. He's a serial winner, like we've said many times, and he'd be frustrated that they've not won the game today. But um, for me, it's just a bad day at the office. It hasn't happened today, and we move forward. Let's look towards I th I think you I think you're right there, Kev, aren't you? I think Pep demands the best. He's put a team out there. Yes, there's seven changes, but capable of winning that that sort of... They, they did enough that, apart from the, the finishing, they? did, they? for sure. But you've got to look at Wednesday night, and I think everybody's got to take, take stock of that. The team that he made, the, the, you look along the bench, Diaz... Uh, Gundogan, Rod Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne, Maris Forden. De Bruyne That's is the, the one. Intent. We, we had Bruyne. a conversation about De Bruyne. Like, would you bring him on when when it was still one 0 Would you? Bring, uh, and, and Brownie at the now he went. Why would he? Why risk it? Uh, Wednesday's massive. So um, yeah, D Kevin was told to sit back down and, and not risk today. The, re the reason he doesn't play is for Wednesday night. He's irre irreplaceable almost. For me, I get it. I think the manager made the correct decision. And not bringing Kevin De Bruyne. Yes, you'll look now and you'll say, well, could it have been different? That, that's, we understand that. We were saying at 1-1, at 1-0, the decision was right. Keep Kevin De Bruyne. That's a really... I think it's a defining moment for Manchester City, the Champions League against Dortmund. Really looking forward to the game and, and can we progress to the semis? Right, I'm going to look to you both to make me feel a little bit better because I'm a little bit worried now about the, you know, it's great to have momentum, isn't it, and confidence where you win, 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 win. Are you worried at all that we've lost a game before we go into the Champions League? No, 
Good. No, no. Look, it's different if if you're losing a run of games. Look, we all know what this team possesses in terms of squad. It, they can win any given game at any given time against anybody in the world. So, look, it's a blip today, and, and like I say, there was changes, but I, I expect Manchester City to be all guns blazing Wednesday and hopefully get a real positive result. And like Brownie said, see us in the semis. Do you agree? Can you just add that to my making me feel better, please? Do you know what? Nobody wants to lose. We're all sat here. You never want to lose a football game. But for me, I'm sort of saying, let's look forward. It's been incredible. We've seen how many times the, the team have bounced back from results. We've hardly seen a loss. And this team just keeps getting, getting through games like no other. And performing, out playing, out possession, out shooting, like everything. So... I just think, look forward. I think it's, it's it's such a great game coming, you know, coming ahead of us on on Wednesday that I feel that the club will be really excited to play. Those players, I'll be a bit disappointed today, but that game is just round the corner. A huge opportunity, late stages in the Champions League. Bring it on. That's what I say. And we're, of course, going to be going there with the 2-1 lead from the first leg. They, of course, got that important away goal. But what sort of game are you expecting on Wednesday, Kev? What, how do you think Dortmund are going to come at us? They've obviously got to come out. They've, they've obviously got to score, first and foremost. I think Pep's already said in, in an interview that they won't be going there just to close shop up. Shop up. They, they want to go and win the game. So I'm hoping it's going to be an enter entertaining game, but one that favours Manchester City again. And I think Manchester City will get through the tie, I must admit. it would be interesting, wouldn't it, to see, again, will he, will, he, will he use the false nine system? Will there be a striker on the pitch? Will they not? I think it, I think that it really suits City. Having the setup they did in the first leg, we've seen it against Gladbach as well. That the energy, the, it's it's so hard for Dortmund to know who to pick up, where to go, because the rotations are really, really good. Is it going? This is a game that it's going to be difficult. We accept there's an away goal, but it's a, I think it's, it's a, it, they've got some threat. We know that, but it's a game I think City. It's brilliant. Like everyone's on a knife edge, like because of the away goal, and 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 as Blues, it's, it's just in us to be a little bit nervous of it. Manchester City have won a quarter final two one, and they go away with an advantage. You take that any other day of the week. So um, yes. Be cautious in terms of, of there, is, there is a little bit of doubt and, and scepticism, but Manchester City win this game for me and go through. Is this our biggest game of the season so far? Yes. I think, it's, I think, I think the Champions League would still change things for this football club, and I, I still think it's something that we need to get through and try and get to that final. And yes, it does change things. I think worse things have happened when you don't do it, when other th things don't fall in place. Premier League will be some achievement, but the Champions League is... And I think it's the next game. And I think that's what Pep will say. That's the next game. But as we know, and I think those players will tell you, really, the Champions League is where they want to go through. But it's so difficult. Pep will tell you, fighting on four fronts, week in, week out. You need a bit of luck. And it just shows you. You talk about luck, do you? You talk about domination in the game. And we just witnessed it there, haven't we? It doesn't always happen in the favour. That's why it's a wonderful game. We love football. But it's there for City. It's a great game to go next. Yeah, and when we did get beat by United, we bounced straight back and went on another incredible run. Obviously, that was that was a big blow at the time, but we've been on a, an amazing run ever since. Um, so Wednesday night, you're expecting strong performance, win from City, probably a load of changes in the team again, Kev? Yeah, well, we envisaged the lads that haven't started today. Obviously, Kevin De Bruyne, Mares, Foden, Gundogan to start, Diaz, Walker. Yeah, we're expecting changes. Um, I'm expecting... Manchester City to, to go through. Looking forward to it? Can't wait. Can't wait. Michael? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We're doing the game and with real interest and it, it's tactically different as well, isn't it? What Dortmund can bring, will they change? We know they, they're going to go for it as well. So <laughs> we said that about Leeds United. Going to be goals, I'm sure. Um, but it's just an exciting time. Coming really to the end of the season now where you want to be playing, you want to be involved. That's what you play for. That's what the footballers... Uh, you know, that's, that's what you excite you. And obviously, drip a few supporters back very, very soon. Yeah. So, disappointing result today, but we look ahead to the massive game coming up on Wednesday night. Now we can hear uh, the thoughts of today's game from Nathan Ake. Nathan, that must hurt. You got caught out not once, but twice. Yeah, frustrating. Um, we knew it was going to be tough before the game, obviously. But um, yeah, I think the manner how we conceded the goals went out great, and obviously they had a red red card. And uh, second half we pushed, we pushed, but uh, yeah, we couldn't we couldn't score the second one. Did you push and push too much and, and give them that invitation to, to bounce back? 
Yeah, it's always. I think uh, after the game is maybe easier to say. I think um, left ourselves maybe a little bit too open. I think we we're pushing so much to to cool, to to get the second, obviously, and then yeah, they they are a very good counter attacking team. So yeah, obviously they they, they finished that well. Yeah, when, when when the red card happened, I suppose the pattern was set that Leeds would just sit in and you would have the ball, and the danger, of course, was that they may steal something. Yeah, I think um, the second half, how we came out, I think was was good. I think um, uh, we tried to create. Uh, obviously, it's, it's difficult when when the whole team is behind the ball, but we had to keep moving, keep moving, and then yeah, obviously when you get the first one back, uh, you feel like you can push on. And uh, yeah, we left ourselves open uh, once for the counter attack, and then the next goal. Yeah, it's, it's not a sense of the, the changes changed the rhythm of the side. I mean, you genuinely had you, had, you must have had nearly 30 shots on target, and I think they had a couple. That's the, that's the balance. But was, was there the rhythm in the side? Uh, maybe you can say that, I don't know. Um, I think it's, it's maybe one of those days where we had a lot of chances, a lot of chances. Uh, yeah, when you don't score, then uh, obviously it's going to be tough. And uh, yeah, then we, we need to make sure we close that back, and uh, we didn't today. Yeah, so just a case of dusting yourself down now, Dortmund, and then move on? Yeah, we move on, we move on. Um, obviously, uh, reflect on this and then uh, we go to a big game on, on Wednesday and yeah, we go from after that. Thank you, Nathan. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. That was the thoughts of Nathan Ake there just after the game. Now, we do have to tell you the answer to Guess the Blue now. I know it's why you're all probably still watching. You're desperate to know who it is. Well, there is a debate in the studio. We all picked pretty much different people. None of us feels certain. However, we should say Kevin Horlock is on an absolute run. You've had the two before this right. He won the spinning blue game before, which I should also tell you all, these two were still arguing about well into the first half. That is how competitive they are. So let's, oh, let's refresh everybody. Who did you think it was? I said Gareth Taylor. I said Gareth Taylor. You said Gareth Taylor, did yeah. you? Okay, he suddenly, cha- he Jordan, suddenly changed he? his mind. No, I thought I Stephen actually, Jordan half time, I said, I thought it was Stephen Jordan, but I was edging towards Gareth Once Taylor. I said it. We can run, yeah. we can run no, I don't if you want. want. I, don't I want said Steve you. Howie, so we were all different. You thought Steve Howie, so stop trying to copy Kev now. <laughs> oh, just, wow. because Ke- just because Steve Kev's Howie. always right. Right, <laughs> let's have a look and see if Kev is always right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it is. It's Gareth Taylor! Kevin yeah, Horlock. There, there you go. That's impressive because. Yeah. I mean, I still, can, I still can't totally see it now. That's probably because I've no, got no, my glasses now on. The, now the proper picture's come up. I can't see who it is. <laughs> it's just a pixelated, yeah. You have had a good day in the studio. Well done. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Well done, mate. Cheers, done well. Cheers. And get you tried to get in there at the end there. No, but you are, you're bending the truth yet again, that's why. You can't mm-hmm. keep doing that. Mm-hmm. Steve Howie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a poor yeah. shout. You that thought, was a poor shout. You thought it was Gareth Taylor all off, the, off your own back? I said at half-time, Taylor, Jordan. Taylor Jordan, mm. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's Taylor Howard Bellis. Okay. <laughs> but lovely. No Thank you very much for, I can for take joining defeat. us. It's fine. It's okay. I know we've got, and, we, and sadly today we've all got to take defeat because, as I say, it is a a different post match today, one that we are not used to, and hopefully we will not be doing for the rest of the season again. But thank you so much to Kevin Hall. Yeah, frustrating. Thank you. Yeah. Did, so what? Yeah. Final frustrating, opinions. Frustrating, but Wednesday Blues. Cheer up! It's Wednesday. I thought you were going to say frustrating, but I got guessed the blues. No, so. no, I, look, the, today's frustrating. Whether I've won the quiz or guessed the blue, it was a frustrating afternoon, but it's all about Wednesday. Massive. I remember, you had to just remind you again about the quiz. And then, you had yep. to. You'll yep. enjoy that for yep. a while. Yeah. And final thoughts from you? Final thoughts. Te- you know, the positives. There's, there's some good things from today. We've seen changes. We've seen players getting back in who haven't had any minutes. And it's about the, the longevity to the end of the season. Great game coming up. And um, got to understand the run that the club have been on. It's been really good. We've got to take, to take stock from it. Bring on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you very thank much you. For, for being here. Always a pleasure. And thank you for thank travelling you. all the way up from down south where it was sunny up yeah. to absolutely freezing Manchester. We are blessed to be in the stadium. It was absolutely freezing, though I still cannot feel my fingers. So um, I hope you enjoyed the We're Not Really Here show today. We are back on Wednesday, of course. We have that absolutely huge second leg against Dortmund. Kel will be here with Michael, I think. No, no Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, back. I knew one of you was here. Are you doing commentary I'm for doing it? I'm doing comms, yeah. There you go. So if you're listening to the live commentary, which 
is highly recommended to Alistair Mann and Michael Brown. Or if you're watching here, we're not really here with Kel Spellman and Kevin Horlock. Do both, actually. I'm going to do both. I'm going to sit at home, <laughs> watch these guys, and then listen to these guys. So enjoy your week. Stay positive, Blues. We go again on Wednesday night, and let's get that semi-final place booked. We'll see you then. <laughs>